You may have noticed computer-generated videos, or deepfakes, are getting more realistic. Jason Bellini of The Wall Street Journal has details in the latest episode of Moving Upstream. So Jason, why do these videos have experts so worried? Kristen, the problem stems from how good deepfake videos are getting and how accessible the technology to make them is becoming. We're entering an era in which our enemies can make it look like anyone is saying anything at any point in time. President Barack Obama never said these lines. You're hearing actor and comedian Jordan Peele's voice imitating Obama, lip synced to an existing video clip. It's not hard to imagine how a deceptive video could lead to geopolitical catastrophe. We spoke about this with Hani Farid, one of the foremost experts in the world when it comes to computer forensics. So do you think there's a plausible scenario under which deep fakes result in war? Honestly, I don't think that's a stretch. So Nuclear we, war being launched? So I don't think it's likely, but I don't think it's out of the question. Imagine the following scenario. Video is produced of Donald Trump saying, I've just launched nuclear weapons against North Korea. That video goes onto Twitter and goes viral in 30, 60 seconds. North Korea responds in another 60 seconds before anybody figures out that the video is fake. In this episode, we also look at possible ways authorities could detect deep fakes before they damage the public's trust. Kristen. Great reporting. Thanks, Jason. You can check out this week's Moving Upstream on the Wall Street Journal website.